Hello students. In this video, I'm going to solve this system of equations, this linear system of equations using Gaussian elimination. So I'm going to perform elementary row operations to reduce this system to what we call an upper triangular system. Um, and I'll show you how to obtain the solution right at that point using back substitution. Then I'll continue to get this down to row reduced echelon form and show you um, that uh, the solution becomes readily apparent when you have it down to row reduced echelon form, what we call the RREF. Along the way, I'll give you the uh, some vocabulary for a few of the terms. Okay, let's continue here. So I'm going to write this linear system as a matrix system, but I'm going to write it as an augmented matrix. So in other words, I'm just picking off the coefficients. 1, 2, 3 for this first column, 1, 4, 6 for the second column, 1, minus 3, minus 5 for the third column, and then the right-hand side I'm just going to put into 9, 1, 0. Now this first column corresponds to x1, this middle column, second column corresponds to x2, and the third column corresponds to x3. Now I'm going to begin my row operations. I'm just going to proceed naively um, and pick one to be what we call my first pivot. So I'm going to take row two and I'm going to subtract two times row one. I'm going to combine those together. I'm going to replace row two with that. So if I take uh, minus two times row one and I add it, so minus two times one, add it to two, I get a zero. And that's what we're looking for. That's why this is called Gaussian elimination. You're trying to eliminate these entries and make them 0. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2, plus 4 is 2, minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5, minus 2 times 9 is minus 18, plus 1 is minus 17. Now I'm going to try to eliminate this 3 here with this 1, with this pivot. So I'll take R3 minus, so row 3 minus 3 times row 1, and I'll replace row 3 with that. So minus 3 plus 3 gives me a 0. That's what we're looking for. Minus 3 plus 6 gives us a 3. Minus 3 minus 5 is a minus 8. Minus 3 times 9 is minus 27. Plus 0 is minus 27. OK, so we've eliminated these two entries here. And this is the systematic order in which you want to proceed. OK, don't, you know, don't like pick the two and then work back upwards or start with this upper echelon term here, right? This upper corner and work your way down. It's a common mistake for students to just kind of haphazardly try to eliminate entries. Don't do that. Be systematic. Now I want to eliminate this three, so I'm going to use this two to eliminate the three. So I have to multiply this entry by minus 3 halves times row 2 and then add it to row 3. Well if I do that then of course minus 3 halves times 2 is a minus 3 plus 3 is 0 and then just some fraction arithmetic here uh, gives us a 15 halves minus 8 gives us a minus 1 half and then 51 halves plus 27 gives us a minus 3 halves, okay? So just do that a fraction arithmetic and you'll get those results. Now, I don't want to deal with these fractions down here, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the bottom, both sides of the bottom row by minus 2 and replace row 3 with that. So I'll just get a 1 and a 3. Okay, that gets me down to an augmented matrix in this form. Now, the thing to keep in mind is since whatever I've done to the left-hand side, I've done to the right-hand side, this matrix system is actually equivalent to this matrix system up here. Okay, as long as I follow the rules of algebra, I have an equivalent system here. At this point, I have what's called a matrix in upper triangular form. So I have all zeros down here, so it looks like a triangle. These were my pivots, the 1, 2, and 1, right? I circle those along the way. And three pivots, if I have upper triangular form here, three pivots gives me what's called a rank 3 matrix. I'll make this more explicit when I do the RREF. But I just want to give you a heads up that that's coming. 
So I can use something called back substitution to solve for x3, x2, then x1. See, this column, column 1 corresponds to x1, column 2 corresponds to x2, and column 3 corresponds to x3. So look down here, if x3 is equal to 3, so I've already solved for one of the variables. Now that I have x3, I can go back up to this second equation, plug it into this term where the x3 is in this term, like so. So I'll have 2x2 minus 5 times x3, but x3 is 3, we got that from here, is equal to minus 17. So I just do some basic algebra here, minus 5 times 3 is minus 15, add that to the other side, and I get a minus 2, 2x equals minus 2, so divide both sides by 2 and I get x2 is equal to minus 1. Now that I have x3 and x2, I'm going to back substitute up to here. So I have x2 is minus 1 and x3 is 3. So I'll just substitute that into the top equation. So I have x1 plus minus 1 plus 3. The minus 1 came from the fact that I saw for x2 and the 3 came from the fact that I saw for x3 is equal to 9. And adding these two together, I get a 2. Subtract 2 from both sides, I get that x1 is equal to 7. So we're done. We solved this system. You could stop here. Um, the system is solved. But I want to show you an alternative view. We could keep going if you didn't want to use back substitution. We could get this matrix down to what's called row reduced echelon form. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to eliminate this 1, this 1, and this minus 5. And I'm going to do so by proceeding um, to eliminate the minus 5, then the 1, then I'm going to eliminate this 1 in the second column. So here we go. So this was called back substitution. Here we go to RREF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, row 3 here. I'm going to multiply it by 5 and add it to row 2. Okay, so I'm going to take row 2 plus 5 times row 3. When I do that, of course, I eliminate this minus 5 here. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 17 is minus 2. And then to eliminate the 1 up here, I take row 1 and I subtract 1 times row 3, so 1 minus 1 gives us 0, three, uh, 9 minus 3 gives us 6. And then um, looking at this row here, I have a 2 and a minus 2. What if I just multiplied everything by 1 half here? Then I would get a 1 and a minus 1 there. Okay, so now I have a matrix that looks like this. Okay, so notice that, you know, at this point, we already know what x3 is, we know what x2 is, but we got to get rid of this term here so we can get x1. So what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate this one here by taking r1 minus r2 and replacing with r1. So 1 minus 1 gives us 0, minus minus 1 gives us a 1, plus 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, and here we go, we have this matrix on the left hand side which is ones on the diagonal zero everywhere else um, and uh, this is called row reduce echelon form and we just have the right hand side is seven minus one three again this matrix here this matrix is equivalent to this system here if you follow the rules of algebra what you did to one side you did to the other and you only did it to one equation at a time here are three pivots one two three this is in row reduce echelon form three pivots that call that gives us what's called a rank three matrix this matrix has what's called rank three um, that means it has a unique solution if it's a three by three system you could just pick off the solutions now x1 is 7 x2 is minus 1 and x3 is 3 so here's x1 is 7 x2 is minus 1 x3 is 3 so we've gotten a lot of information by going down to RREF row reduce echelon form um, gives us an alternative to back substitution. You could just keep proceeding to eliminate. Sometimes that is sometimes that actually is easier to do, especially if you had a bunch of you know had a few zeros in here and you only had to eliminate a couple elements. Um, that would make it nice and easy to uh, do that. But uh, that's all the terminology. So um, row up elementary row operations, your pivots, which are your numbers along the diagonals, eliminating using Gaussian elimination. Remember, keep it systematic. Start in the upper left-hand corner and work your way down. And then you could use back substitution when you get it to upper triangular form, or you can continue and get the system down to row-reduced echelon form and just pick off the 
solution to the linear system of equations. All right, good luck.